What's up guys, this is Yoni Rain. Finally coming at you with the 1 to 100 scale Shar Zaku 2.0 review. And uh, it took me a while to get this review up because I was uh, working on other things and um, just didn't get around to it, sadly. But now it is finally uh, time to do this thing. So let's take a look at what makes the 2.0 so much better than the original. And there is a lot that makes this better than the original. So let's take a look at articulation real quick. First of all, the uh, shoulder pads, both spikes and the shield, come out on a hinge. And uh, that happens every once in a while if you pull this one out. Allowing the arm to go about that far. And yep, that looks a little bit funny. Uh, you can kind of bring it up like that. You got rotation below the shoulder. Let's put this back into place. Uh, I don't know why. I try not to mess with uh, the spike shoulder pad because it always likes to come out. Ugh. Stay in. Damn it. Stop it. Be nice. Get a big, huge bend at the shoulder, complete 180, touching, uh, I'm sorry, big, uh, <laughs> big 180 bend at the elbow, touching the shoulder. You have the uh, 2.0 hands where you have the bends in the top knuckles and a flat uh, finger for the thumb. You also have a peg inside the hand that allows you to hold weapons much better. Now the uh, shield uh, shoulder I like a lot. Uh, Dry transfer decal here. I like it. Uh, it comes out the same as the uh, spike shoulder pad, but you can also move it to be in front or in the back here, and I like that a lot. Has a bit more uh, posability. Uh, you can put it uh, pretty much almost any way you want. Same thing allows the arm to go all the way up here. So move that out the way, and the arm can go pretty far up. So that's nice. On the original Zaku, these we're on jo uh, ball joints and it just kind of wiggled and that's about it so it's cool now that we have that uh, those options of the shield and the shoulder pads not getting in the way anymore side skirts and uh... Oh, front skirts, side skirts and uh, everything is all separate uh... everything moves out back skirts on a little flap here have the uh... extra ammo pack for the machine gun and the legs Holy crap. Go about that far. Now, if you go about that far, one of the side skirts may come off. But without the side skirts coming off, it goes about that far. That's, uh, that's a pretty high kick there. Double jointed knees for a complete bend, which I like a lot. You have uh, springs for the power cables here. So it doesn't hinder any uh, articulation in the knees, which I like uh, a lot as well. Very nice. And as you can see, the uh, all this armor separates, and then you just kind of lock it back together, and it has little clips underneath so that it stays like that. Because if not, you'll see a big empty space here um, in the uh, waist area. You got some pretty good articulation in the feet, ankles. Foot is separated. Um, not you get a little bit, actually a lot of uh, foot articulation. Now, if you can see in here, you see that there's a hydraulic in here that you barely see, and you see how mine's kind of uh, shiny. Um, I actually made a big modeler's mistake on this kit, and I accidentally cut the hydraulic part of that, thinking it was part of the sprue tree. So what I did was I took a paper clip and a sprue cutter and I cut it to size and uh, I used that to replace the broken hydraulic. I did that on both ankles. I figured might as well do it on both now. So I learned something new. I, I wasn't something I normally do, but it it worked out pretty well. Uh, head articulation is pretty nice. You can get them looking pretty far up, looking down quite a bit. 360 degree turn and it also has that mechanism where the eye moves with the head which I like. You do get a sticker for the eye that's in a dark pink however I just painted mine red. Waist articulation is pretty good. You get them to go to straight, 
Okay, I'm going to bend over about that far. Not a lot of uh, side to side. Oh, actually there is. You can actually get them if you get the uh, those side skirts getting away, but yep, it can be done. So articulation, pretty good. I mean, a huge improvement over the original uh, Char Zaku, regular Zaku, everything. I mean, it, it's just, it's really wonderful. Um, a cool little gimmick on this kit. Um, if you take this backpack off here, you will notice that there is a switch. And this goes left to right. And what it does is it changes where Char is in the cockpit. So you actually have two cockpits on this kit. One on the right and one on the left. And it can be a little tricky to get out once you do. There's my uh, Char. I actually did go through the trouble of painting him uh, ever so slightly. Because um, why not? It's Char Asimol. I mean, come on. Um, so that lever on the back will switch him from this side of the cockpit to this side. And part of the reason is because uh, along with this kit, you get, um, you get a standing Char about this big. And you get and some extra pieces to build a little rig that um, it, it looks like a little truck and it has a crane on it and on the top of the crane there's a little elevator looking thing and so you can actually have Char getting into the Zaku um, and so if you want him getting in on this side or this side obviously you don't want Char already sitting there because that wouldn't make any sense so I think that's why they did it and it's a cool little extra feature if you intend to uh, display your kit with that uh, extra little gimmick that it comes with with the little crane showing Shaw actually getting into his Zaku so that's pretty cool so let's take a look at the accessories of the Zaku now that we know how mobile it is first you get a beam tomahawk nothing special um, I probably want to paint the edge of it because um, you know beam tomahawks are supposed to glow at the edge red hot pretty nice all one piece um, you see here you have a little slot where the peg goes in his hand uh, Zaku holds it really well. Also, if you're not using the uh, tomahawk, you can place it here for him to use later. So that's pretty cool. Always liked uh, when mobile suits can hold their own weaponry. You got the uh, Zaku machine gun. You have a rotating handle here, which actually you can use. This kit is so uh, poseable, you can actually have the Zaku holding the regular handle and the secondary handle and it doesn't look awkward at all rotating uh... viewfinder with a clear piece and you see up here turn the Zaku around like I showed earlier you have the ammo pack here on his uh, back skirt and load up the machine gun see that? isn't that cool? I think that looks awesome that he can hold, uh, he can use both handles to hold his rifle. You get a lot of kits that have an extra handle and they can never hold them at the same time. So I, I always like that this kit, um, you can do that. It looks very nice. You also get this very large bazooka. And the, the bazooka is just as tall as a Zaku. Multiple pieces on this. You have a moving uh, scope here with a uh, a latch oops and mine just fell off comes out you have a clear piece there another moving handle another slot here you actually have two slots here which is pretty cool you have uh, a slot here and here for the hand so if you want to have the Zaku hold it on his shoulder you can accommodate that and if you want to have him holding it under his arm you can accommodate that as well pretty cool I like it let's see how he looks holding it and yeah the Zaku holding it up with the bottom of the two pegs and you see even though his fingers aren't hooked into it this uh, bazooka ain't going anywhere and I must say looks pretty good of course he can't see anything because the scope cover is back on so epic fail at least he's not holding it backwards and here we have with the Zaku holding its bazooka underhanded under shoulder and same thing good connection not coming off also same thing he can hold both handles looks good no matter what you do with it on the back here you saw earlier that there is a flap this flap comes down this is where you would store the armor pack this flap here has a little uh, groove in it that goes with the groove here on the uh, bazooka 
and the bazooka can be stored on his back. Now the one thing I don't really like about this is you see it holds it decently well but one little knock and normally this thing comes off. It's holding it pretty well. Here's a front view. I've always liked this for some reason. I've always liked the bazooka being on the back. I don't know why but it's just a preference which is good. You get preferences. What do you want to use? What weapon you want him to use? Uh, you know, how do you want him to hold it? Sky's to limit. Posability. It's uh, limited to only your imagination on this kit, and that's why so many people love this kit, and I can't blame them. Final thoughts on this kit, guys. I'll go over a few negatives with you real quick, and I, I've been pretty positive about this kit. But now it's time for me to be a Debbie Downer and really quick run down the uh, negatives. These cables tend to pop off every once in a while. Uh, I said this before, the connection on the bazooka is not all that solid. Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, you thought there was going to be more. To be honest, there's really nothing glaringly uh, bad about this kit. It's a lot of positives. It looks great. If you detail it up. Uh, panel line it. I decided to panel line it in red because, uh, hey, why not? I mean, I don't, everyone panel lines in blacks and grays. I like doing different colors and stuff that match the kit, so I like the red. Get them up on action base. This is my pose. I have them in on my shelf, flying to the side, shooting at uh, whoever happens to get in his way. This is a great kit. If you love uh, Char Aznable, if you love the Zaku, uh, buy it. Pick it up. If you love, uh, you know, Universal Century, do it. I mean, you're not going to go wrong with this kit. Uh, it's great. Uh, verdict, 9.5 out of 10. Lose the half a point for some random parts falling off here and there. Nothing major. Pretty much a perfect kit. Um, so if you like if you like the way it looks and you like the posability options of it, go, uh, go get it. You won't be disappointed. Alright guys, that's my review for the... Uh, Char Aznable, Zaku 2, 2.0. And we'll be back soon with another work in progress of the uh, Sinanju. And another review. I don't know what the next review is going to be. Uh, it might be a seed kit. I don't know. I said I might do some seed reviews. I guess we'll see. So until then, guys, I will see you at the next review. Man, I am just the coolest Char Asnable mobile suit ever created. I am the best. I mean, look at me. Look at my detail. Look how awesome I look. Look at... Hey. What's up? That's fucked up.